you guys so we back we're back here ready for another video and today you know what i thought i'd bring you guys something special yet yes as you can tell by the title we're doing yet another remake video today we're gonna be doing a remake on um song dreamcatcher on metro woman's new not all heroes wear capes album Man, it took me a while to think of that. Um, yeah, so uh, let's get straight into it. So here you see I have uh, my whole beat laid out, cause uh, yeah. And um, I'm just gonna play for you guys so you guys can make sure that it sounds accurate. And I'm gonna go through each sound that I used and the MIDI that I used and you know how we do it. So here's what the beat sounds like if you haven't heard the song already. Okay, so first sound that we used, I obviously used Omnisphere, and um, it's actually Astral Visions too, so it's this sound that you hear in the beat. So yeah, it's that beat, or that sound that you hear in the beat. It's kind of like an ambient sound. So I used Astral Visions, and originally Astral Visions sounds like this. It has like a bell thing, but all I did was go to this A side or whatever and click it off on off right here. And then I just left this friction strong res resonance thing on. And I also turned on the timber. So yeah, there's that for the first sound. Next, we hop on to Nexus. And I found one of these bells. I, I don't know how I got this, but I got this preset bank. I don't know where from. I found this preset and it sounds exactly like it. It originally comes with an ARP, which you have to turn off. So I just turn it off there, and just leave it at that. And this is what it sounds like. But yeah, there's that. And uh, obviously it sounds like. And uh, whoa, I forgot to show you guys the MIDI. So here's the MIDI for that bell thing. So as you can tell there, and then the Astral Visions one here. It's really, really simple. It's just this. So yeah, there's that. Next sound, going into Atmosphere, it's Ah, yes, it's the little bells that you hear in the background. So here is the MIDI before I forget to show you guys. Sounds like that. And um, it's called a whistler bell, I think. Yeah, a whistler bell, right here. Whistler bell, I didn't really do anything with it. All I did was just put it on and then do the MIDI. As you can tell, that is what it sounds like. And once again, you can confirm if this is a, um, Mid actual, you know, MIDI and notes for it. <clears throat> but, uh, oh yeah, and some of these sounds aren't exact. So like the Whistler Bell isn't the exact sound that I found, but it's very, very close. So that's why I used it. And then uh, next, let's just go to the sub bass. So sub bass is the thing that you hear when um, Sway Lee starts rapping. Um, so here's what that sounds like. But yeah, there's that, and I use Citrus for this one. It's called, I think the preset's called Wood. Yeah, it's this one, Wood. Um, use that preset, and I don't think I did anything. Did I do anything else with it? I think I might have turned off these, I don't know. But yeah, this is what my thing looks like. And yeah, that's the Wood one. Next, moving on to our kicks. Kick pattern, very simple. I just use this very basic kick. Very basic kick. Uh, this is the kick pattern right here. So, I don't really know if I can show this. All right, whatever. Here's the kick pattern. Just uh, I put it on one half step. Uh, these kicks, they're very close together. The reason being because the BPM, which I forgot to say at the beginning, is at 89. So the kicks are very, very close together so they could hit, like, you know what I'm saying, on the right time. So uh, I'm just gonna just stroll through it, I guess. So here's what the kicks look like. I think you can pause the video or do whatever. And uh, yeah. So that's the kick pattern. I'm just gonna play it. All right, next. 
next we have the hi hats, and I'm gonna do the clap at the same. Or not the clap. I'm gonna do the snare, the snap at the same time. See what I did? All right. Uh, here's the hi hats pattern. The snare pattern really, or the snap pattern, isn't really anything. It's just the first note of each of those blue things, and yeah, it just goes on forever like that. So it's nothing, you know, nothing special. So, uh, but the hi hats, however, they're very interesting. So this is what they sound like. That's really all it is, it's just these little ones right here. Then you have a little roll here and so on and so forth. So that is what you got for the hi-hats. And I already talked about the snap. Now the snare, which is kind of an interesting part because it has snare rolls and I normally don't do snare rolls, I do hi-hat rolls. So this one is a little bit tricky for me. But um, we did manage to get it and also layered it with a clap, this clap right here. Oops, wrong. And then the snare sounds like this. So uh, yeah, you gotta make sure you layer your clap with your uh, snap. Basically, that's pretty pretty much what it is. And oh, I forgot to layer the rest. Um, this is the snare pattern. I'm gonna show you guys the snare pattern when I play it. So, so as you can tell, they're all close together, just like before. So yeah, as you can tell right here, oh, whoops, as you can tell right here, there's that little high uh, snare roll and then it goes again, then it goes low. So that's really all it is. It's about what, like, however many that is, like seven, I think. Um, and again, we're on the half step uh, gridlock or whatever. And um, I think that is about it for the sounds. Um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and layer it but uh, not layered. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it out. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna see y'all when I'm done. Our Jaws will be is done and uh, ready to go. So uh, here's what it sounds like. But there you go, there's the beat. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. And I'm um, gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace.